Welcome to CBS This Morning Saturday. I'm Jeff Lohr with Michelle Miller. Dana is off, so friend of the show, Elaine Quijano. Hello, everyone. Is here. It's so good to see you, Elaine. Good to be here. Dana, I know you're watching or will be soon. We miss you. <laughs> Coming up this hour, it's a place where crowds of great white sharks once drew even bigger crowds of tourists, but both now are in short supply. We'll hear about efforts to explain the mystery of some missing sharks and what some say needs to be done to bring them back. Then she tells stories of romance that enthrall her legions of fans and her own story is pretty compelling too. Rising from poverty to Wall Street and then the top of the bestseller list. We'll talk to author Nicola Yoon about her young adult fiction including her latest much anticipated novel. She's really good. And later, we'll sit down with musician and best-selling author Michelle Zahner of the band Japanese Breakfast, and she'll perform new music in our Saturday session. That is just ahead. Well, today marks 40 years since the Centers for Disease Control published the first report of what would come to be known as HIV-AIDS. According to the World Health Organization, the disease has killed 33 million people worldwide. Today, an estimated 38 million people are living with HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. And in the past 20 years, infections and deaths have fallen dramatically, thanks to awareness and new treatments. But in those earliest days of the epidemic, fear, discrimination, and a lack of understanding of the virus made containing and defeating it all the more difficult. Published on June 